Hey guys, welcome back. It is week 12 of Fat Loss with Carbon. And uh, this week I'm going to talk to you kind of a little bit about my weekend to Anna Maria, uh, what we got up to down there, and I think also some of the struggles that I have had leading into that week, uh, which it's crazy. Like I can look back at this now and reflect on it and go, oh my God, you're such an idiot. But I know that some of you guys out there have been in this exact situation and I hope that I can talk you through some of these feelings and help you to move past it and not let it be a concern moving forward. So uh, I knew we obviously had uh, the beach weekend planned and I'm going there to catch up with one of my best friends I would consider since I've moved to the USA. Like, I don't have a heap of free time, but you know when you just meet someone, you're like, fuck yeah, this person is exactly like me. Like, you're my soul sister. So, Shelly. I also coach Shelly. Uh, we have a great relationship, but they they're out, they live out in Texas, so we don't see each other very often. She's obviously just competed. So, I think she's five weeks post-show. Um, and I've known about this weekend for a long, a long while. And I think kind of like the week before, maybe even two weeks before, I started like thinking to myself about, oh, I've got to be in a bikini. And I'm like, oh my God, like Shelly's just looking friggin' amazing right now. And I can just feel like all of this insecurity and like my confidence was just like running away. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, and it stuck with me for days. And then like I had a couple of days, I think maybe last week I talked about just feeling a little bit out of control because um, I had so many disruptions to my schedule. Like I had to do things so back to front and change for me, like that's a bit of a trigger, I guess, when it comes to like my coping mechanisms and how I deal with stress. And it's certainly something that like I'm really trying to work through even now professionally uh, with somebody else because like I don't have those skills. I'm not a psychiatrist and I don't think it's reasonable to have all of the skills to be able to handle some of this stuff. I am at least now kind of able to identify some of the things that trigger me, like disorder and like you no know, structure are some of them. And then uh, also starting to feel like that combined with like body image. It was like this sickening, like, oh my God, oh my God, I've had so many days like this week where I haven't been able to, um, you know, execute the nutrition the way that I wanted. I'm going to have to be in this bikini like with Shelly. And then it was like I have the devil on one shoulder and like the little angel, me on the other shoulder. And they're just like battling each other. And I really had to like talk myself out of like feeling like totally like inferior. And then it was like, okay, well, like so many of you guys, I'm sure have been in that position where it's like, oh, you know, I've got this holiday coming up or I have a wedding or it's a birthday. Like it's a big, it's like an important event and there's like this overwhelming amount of pressure for you to to look a certain way. And I was like, hang on, like that is so dumb. Like this is the good Holly talking. Like she's like, oh, well, Shelly is your like one of your best friends. She does not care about how you look. And that was kind of fueled by one of my posts on Instagram last weekend um, where I talk about like your body fat percentage, like your friends do not care. Your self-worth is not based upon your body weight on the scales and your value, like your, self, your self-worth and your value is not tied up to um, like a number on the scale. And it freaking hell sure shouldn't interfere with how much fun you're going to have on a weekend because you're so worried about what you're going to look like. So I really had to do like a lot of self-talk, like positive self-talk that week. Uh, and I think previously... Um, that like fear and that worry about not being accepted in my body would have thrown me back into, all right, I'm going to diet. All right, let's do it. Let's get onto the diet band, like that bandwagon again. And I was like, no, like that's not what I want anymore. I don't want to be in that mindset and you need to get over this insecurity or this fear of like being like less valuable because you are not that person anymore. And I'm not, I don't want to be that person anymore. So that was just some of the struggles I think that I had moving into the week. And it was it was so nice to kind of get down there um, and just listen to some of the struggles like f- coming out of that show concept that like she is experiencing and that fixation and that obsession with food uh, and like, you know, trying to be really um, 
like strict or not not restrictive because we try to do things I guess in a way that supports like positive body image and trying to do this in a way that still gives you freedom and flexibility to eat like her calories are pretty good but that doesn't discount like the hormonal changes that are going on in your body that cause you to think about food all day and when you've been that lean like it can take months for somebody to fully get out of that mindset because they have restricted for so long and I think that's really important for you guys uh, listening that you shouldn't have or strive for that particular body type as your normal like day-to-day living body it is I'm not saying don't have that as a goal and never do it but I think for anyone that is like oh yeah that's just how I want to look I don't really want to compete but this is what I would strive for I don't want you to think that that is normal because there are so many um, like it might look amazing but underneath all of that like it is so challenging like psychologically um, and it can really like ruin your life <laughs> to be honest it's a, it's a great experience to kind of go through that and like challenge yourself and kind of come out and say look I achieved that and heck I, I have done it for five years so I'm not gonna say like oh I regret all of that um, I think you learn um, and exp- like there's something to be had or something to be gained from all of those experiences but um, yeah it was just so interesting like mashing our conversations together like where I was coming from and where she was coming from and there was like I actually found like the mindset I was approaching things from for myself like she was like oh this is so invaluable like I'm so glad that you're telling me this and helping me through this because I know that like how I'm thinking right now is so disordered like it's not normal it's not a normal way to think so We had such a great weekend. Well, I know I personally did, maybe I can't speak for them, but (laughs) I had a really great weekend. Um, When it came to my targets, they were, I'd actually just been given an increase. So it wasn't super restrictive, to be honest. It's nothing like like a prep, you know, in a prep. So I still was able to fit a bunch of stuff in. I think I had like two or three like drinks on the beach. Um, And yeah, it, it was a really like, nice experience to kind of sit back and go oh all that worry what was I worrying about so I think the moral of my message today would be to like try not to get caught up in those like small stupid thoughts like if you're going away to celebrate like I know it's the idea of being like like your body is a smaller version of you to go away on a holiday like that's not what's gonna make your trip fun or it's not gonna make that wedding like 10 times better or people gonna like you more. Like your friends don't give a crap. Like people are attracted to your personality, not your body. I mean, okay, let's go maybe the opposite sex. I don't know if you're going for a date, but then that's really shallow. So like if someone can't like love you or like you for the other things that you bring to that relationship, like, probably not the right relationship to try and pursue. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think we all get caught up on thinking that being in this, like, oh, but just 10 more pounds, like less, is gonna somehow lead you to this place where you're gonna, um, all of a sudden, like, you're just gonna be so happy in that smaller body. And the reality is it's not. Like, there, there's probably other things in life that you're completely neglecting that could make you so much happier. So yeah, I think that's kind of what I wanted to chat about. So let's go and have a look at my uh, check-in for this week. I actually didn't track everything over the weekend, but I was doing mental tracking. So please trust me when I say I was pretty compliant this weekend. Um, I've been doing this for how many, 13 years, like nutrition, calories, macros, like knowing what's in food. So I'm not gonna worry about showing you my averages this week because they're gonna be really low. (laughs) So um, just know and have trusted me that I did actually hit my targets, but we'll go and do my check-in and we'll take a look at my weight this week for the weigh-ins that I have added, which was only twice. So probably not the best week as far as getting true, um, I guess, representation of what my weight is um, because I only have Two data points, they might be the lower from the week. Who knows? I just kind of got on the scales when I remembered. But um, anyway, let's just assume that they're amazing wanes and they're going to give me a perfect, (laughs) perfect or close to perfect week. All right, so I'm just opening up carbon. Oh, this is me just looking at my... There's a funny way in here. You guys will be able to see this. It says somewhere along here, 
I was 83.3 kilograms as my weekly average. I was looking at my weight tracking earlier and there was a 156 kilogram entry and I'm like, hmm, I think that's a mistake. <laughs> so you're currently looking at my weight history, but we'll get out of that. So we'll go to calories. Oh no, we're not looking at that. We're going to the coach. Okay, checking in. So today's weight this morning after training uh, was 71.8. Okay, oh, actually I think I've entered that in twice. Let's remove, checking in. Okay, so where are you compliant to your macro target? So my allowable calorie range this week, uh, my targets were 1711. Um, gives me a range of 1669 to 1754. Uh, if I'm being honest, I probably sat at about 1780. So I'm like just outside, but my weight has been pretty steady. So I'm going to say that that's compliant. Um, protein was 146 to 154. Yes, uh, 100%. I did a really good job of my protein this week. Carb, my range was 163 to 171. I'm betting that I was probably right around 169, 170. Uh, and then my fat range was 48 to 50. So I was definitely dead on this week. Like I had a killer week. It was a lot easier to hit these targets. So uh, we'll check yes. Current body weight, okay. No, I'm replicating this. I just made a mistake before, my bad. I uh, didn't take my skin calipers this week, so I don't know what my body fat percentage is. So we'll hit next. Does everything look okay? Yes, complete check-in. Okay, so the coach is telling me, it looks like things didn't go quite as planned. It looks like your calories are too high since you have gained weight. So if we go back, I'll show you my history in a second. Um, I have actually gone up going back to these calories. So obviously I'm not intending to go back up. Um, it then says, for this reason, we're going to make a significant decrease to your calories. This should help you lose weight at the correct rate. So remember, I'm at a weekly rate of loss of about 0.6 of a kilogram. Um, this week, my weight has shot back up. So my calories are about down to 15.21 this week. Um, 150 protein, 138 carb, 41 fat. I'm actually gonna go in and make a small adjustment and here's why. I'm gonna reduce my protein just by a smidge. I'm gonna take it down five grams. Come on, slide, slide, slide. It's my cracked screen is really giving me a hard time. Um, and that's taking me up just a smidge more in carbohydrates, which I think will be more realistic. So 42 fat uh, and 142 carb, 145 protein. That's kind of what I'm going to set my target as. So there we go. Now let's have a look at my check-in history. So last week, now here's why. So last week, which was the week of, where are the dates? Uh, the 4th of August through to the 11th of August. I started or my weekly average weight the previous week was 70.8 and then I went down to 70.2. So I had a 0.6 change in weight. So this week, obviously, my weight is up by 1.1 <laughs> um, because of those calorie intakes. So I'm from 70.2 was my average last week. Um, this week I'm up to 71.3. So um, yeah, that's kind of, I guess, grants us the reason for why we have a, a pretty significant calorie decrease. Now, one thing that I want to, I want to talk about when it comes to carbon coach, I had so many weeks where I wasn't compliant. You guys have been following the series. I'm basically hopeless at the moment, but <laughs> intentionally hopeless. Like I'm trying to just let it go. Do you know what I mean? So I had five or six weeks where I was non-compliant interchange, like there was probably one compliant week scattered in there. So what was happening was I was, my targets were, I think they were about 15.95 um, and I was going over them probably by like 70 or 80 calories, which is significant. Um, so I would have to mark non-compliant, but I was still losing like a skerrick amount of weight each on each of those non-compliant weeks. So when I finally did get uh, a weight drop last two weeks ago, um, the coach is kind of looking at those two extremes and it's seen one of my measurements back up here when my, the last time I was compliant at like 73 and a half kilos. And then I check in and now I'm down at like 70.2. It's like, Lord, those calories, like they're really low for her. So that's why I got the calorie increase. But truth be told, I was still losing a little bit of weight during that time. So um, I probably just like, 
I think something that we'll probably end up doing with the algorithm is if people aren't compliant, we'll start incorporating uh, the weigh-ins that you're giving us and we'll give you an option to actually enter in the calories that you consumed and whether you went over or whether you went under. Um, and then at least we can tie those intakes with your weight and we will be able to make even better um, recommendations about your calories. So rather than, so I feel like this last week where I took a calorie increase, probably like it f probably didn't need to happen. It was great. I really, it was a perfect timing to be honest because I had to go away. Um, but I think had I actually just stuck at those calories, I would have, um, you know, seen a gradual drop at the rate that I was meant to. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always interesting, like just looking at numbers and data and going, okay, what do we, and how do we actually utilize this? Cause there's so many different scenarios and situations. Um, and that's a really great reason that I would say if you are, if you have any questions about your nutrition coaching, please like send us a, like a text or like send me a DM or comment below, whatever the case, because there have been so many unique situations where we can say, hey, like normally we would say to do this, but in your situation, here's what we would, here's what I would recommend. So Lane and I and Keith as well, um, we're all pretty open to answering personalized like questions. Um, so don't ever feel like you cannot just send a DM because we will try to get back to you. It might take us a few days, but um, we, we always try to do that. So there you have it guys. I'm in for a really fun week. Yay. Restricted calories, but I do want to make sure that I can kind of get back to a place where I am feeling a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I don't care how long it takes me. I might still be doing, <laughs> I might still be doing this cut at Christmas. Who knows? Uh, I know I said 12 weeks, but that's kind of just to help, um, I guess, motivate you guys. I know that there's so many of you doing the 12 week, uh, get lean and train with me programming. And that has been awesome. So, um, for me, I think I'm in a different place. I think there are a lot of people that are kind of just beginning their fitness journey and they're really motivated um, and they haven't gone through the things that I've gone through. So I'm kind of on the out almost. Um, so yeah, anyway, hopefully you can relate to some of those experiences that I had this week. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And we'll see you next week.